Hey, it's Sarah, and welcome to the User Guide for Cytoslink, a wireless lighting control system. In this video, we'll help you understand how to use effects mode and the built-in system effects to imitate environmental lighting, as well as how to use manual effects to create your own lighting designs from scratch, and picker effects to pull scenes directly from real life. After pairing your Cytus-enabled lights to your app, Tap on the fixture ID or group name to access the parameter control interface. You'll see four primary modes, white light, gel, color, and effects. In effects mode, you'll find the system effects subcategory, which houses a variety of common lighting effects like fire, fireworks, faulty bulb, cop car, and lightning, just to name a few. After selecting your desired effect, just hit the play or trigger button and your fixture will simulate it automatically. Each effect also has a variety of sliders to change different parameters, such as the intensity, color, green magenta shift, frequency, and speed of the effect. It's worth noting that some effects are exclusive to certain fixtures. For example, an advanced full color fixture like the Nova P300C has access to 15 system effects, while the daylight only Lightstorm 600D Pro can only access eight. And if you can't quite find what you need in the system FX, you can use manual effects to achieve more complex lighting ideas and create your own lighting effect from scratch. When using manual FX, you first have to select a source base white light color temperature or HSI full color control. With the CCT source base, you gain control over color temperature, green magenta shift, and intensity. And with the HSI source base, you can adjust the hue, saturation, and intensity. All of these parameters can individually be locked into a specific point or vary within a range. If a parameter is set to point mode, your light will maintain the selected value. In the range mode, the value will vary within the start and stop you set. Each chase mode has four settings, sequential, reverse, alternating, and random. In sequential mode, the parameter value, such as color temperature, will move from left to right. In reverse mode, the value will shift from right to left. In alternating mode, the value will move left to right, then back to left throughout the range. And in random mode, the value will constantly bounce between random points between the start and stop points. For example, you can set your effect to have a CCT source base with the color temperature ranging from 2000 Kelvin to 6000 Kelvin, a green magenta value with a fixed point of zero, and an intensity ranging from 18 to 50%. The rate at which these parameters vary within the chase modes is determined by the cycle time set in one of the three effects modes, flash, continuous, and segmented. In flash mode, your light will turn on during the active time and turn off during the inactive time. This is great for creating strobe or lightning-like effects. In continuous mode, your light will remain on after fading in or fade out after a specified amount of time. This is great for smooth effects like pulsing, TV, or fire. Segmented mode combines both the flash and continuous modes, allowing the light to fade in and out and stay on continuously while mixing in active and inactive periods that can overlap with each other. The overlapping of cycles in segmented mode is determined by the overlap mode, overlap probability, and overlap ratio. This mode is great for creating complex, layered effects like fireworks. In Citus Link for iPad, we've integrated a preview window, allowing you to more easily see how your effect will turn out. The number of loops in each of the effects modes determines the number of times the light effect is played. If the number of loops is set to repeat always, the effect will repeat the selected number of loops after completing the first set. So if the effect is set to loop five times, then always repeat. Once five loops have been simulated, the process will start over from the beginning. Fine tuning this balance between loops, cycle time, and repeating will help you achieve different effects. Manual effects can also control a group of light fixtures simultaneously so no one misses out. And once you've finished with your creation, you can save the lighting effect in your presets for easy access. 
In addition to creating manual lighting effects, you can easily record and save lighting effects from real life by using the Picker FX tool. To use Picker FX, point your phone camera at the effect you want to replicate and hit record. You can record an effect that's up to 120 seconds long. Cytoslink will then analyze the video and generate a custom lighting effect. Before recording, you can select whether you would like to focus on capturing color temperature data or hue and saturation data. And depending what type of effect you're recording, you can choose between average metering or spot metering. With average metering, Cytoslink will take data from the whole frame into account. And with spot metering, Cytoslink will focus inside the center square for more precise data. And when you're done recording your desired effect, you can go back and switch between color modes and even adjust CCT, green magenta shift, hue, and saturation so you can put a cool twist on what you recorded. These picker effects can be saved to your effects library and uploaded to your fixture. Just switch over to the upload menu where you can change your playback options between forward, reverse, and random, as well as adjust some additional parameters like the intensity and playback speed or even inject some additional randomness into your recording. Then simply upload the effect to one of your fixture's empty slots or overwrite an older one, allowing you to recall the effect preset directly from the fixture without needing to connect to the app. You can also activate PickerFX Live to synchronize the effect you're capturing with your light fixture in real time, allowing you to adapt to any situation. With all these effects options at your disposal, Citus Link grants you endless possibilities. If this video was helpful, hit the like button and share this video with a filmmaking friend. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, contact us on social media, or join the Citus Link Creativity Facebook group to share your ideas with others. And of course, thanks for watching.